Right, in this video we've got a block with a mass M uh, with limiting friction on a rough uh, slope inclined up theta to the horizontal. The coefficient of friction will be mu. So what we've got here is a block on a slope. At the moment this is 30 degrees. This is GeoGebra and this applet I will put in the notes of the video. At the moment the angle set to 30 and mu is 0.4. We can change these uh, values by moving this, the slider. So I can change mu, I can make it really, uh, sorry, I can change the angle to what I want. And I can change the coefficient of friction. You see the greater uh, mu is, the greater the, you can see that the friction here, the blue one here, increases and decreases. All right, so we can look at this by resolving some forces. So let's just put mu at 0.3 and theta at 30. So we've got 30 degrees, uh, mu as at point, uh, point 0.3. We've got the friction here. Um, will the block slide downwards or not? That's the question. And at the point where it does slide downwards, it's called limiting friction. So we can, uh, what we need to do is the weight Okay, we're going to resolve in the i and j direction. So i is actually going to be this way and going downwards will be positive in this problem and j will be upwards uh, perpendicular to the slope. So but in order to do that, we need to see the components of the weight here. So if I click here, I can see the um, component of the weight is mg sine 30 or sine theta. If this angle here is theta, Okay, this angle here will also be uh, uh, thir uh, theta or 30 degrees in this case. And ov obviously, as this is opposite sine and this is mg, this will be, its side will be mg sine theta. And the j component will be mg cos theta. That's because that's right next to the angle here. Same reason. So, to uh, reveal the resolve forces. Okay, so if we resolve in the i direction, so it will be mg sine theta minus f is equal to mu r. Okay, so minus f, so it's mg sine theta minus mu r will be equal to zero. And resolving in the j direction, uh, it will be, it's equal to zero, assuming that there's no movement at the moment of the, of the block. So we're assuming that's in equilibrium. And then we're going to have the R is equal to mg cos uh, is equal to zero. So R acting like we're minus this one will make it equal to zero. Now we want to see what the, will be the conditions for motion to actually take place here. Right, so from this one here, we're going to have the R is equal to mg cos theta. And then from uh, this one here, if there's going to be motion taking place, then mg sine theta will have to be greater than mu r. Okay, for motion to take place, mg sine theta must be greater than mu r, but r is equal to mg cos theta. That's straightforward. And then if we divide by mg cos theta, assuming it's positive, which it is, and then we will have mg sine theta over mg cos theta. The mg's will cancel out, and therefore we're going to have that tan theta would have to be greater than mu for motion to take place. So at the moment we've got tan 30. Is tan 30 greater than 0 0.3? Well, tan 30 is 0 0.58, and so that is greater than 0 0.3. So at this particular moment, the block will actually slip down. So what we could do is... Uh, what van, van, uh, of mu do we actually need for that to actually be no motion? Okay, so at this point, there will be, uh, it will be stationary. But greater than that, obviously, then it will be, there will be no motion like that. And we can change the values of theta we can change the value of theta if we want to, so we can get motion. Okay, as soon as tan, tan of the angle becomes greater than the coefficient, 0.96 is pretty high. Okay, particularly at lower values here, we can actually work out whether we're going to have motion or not. Okay, so there we're going to, no motion, no motion, 
and then at this particular point there will be some motion you can see when tan the tan of the angle becomes bigger than the coefficient of friction. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to determine whether you have motion on a slope. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. The judge will put in the notes of the video.